Pangalist.com, we have the honor to host today Graham Gold, who is one of the top world DJ at the 90s and is living here on Copangan for the last 10 years and he was a central part in the development of the music scene on Copangan. 10 years ago, there was almost, no, when you arrived here, there was almost no parties here. Yeah, it was, in fact, when I moved here, I didn't even, I, I hadn't even heard of the island. Um, what brought you here to the island? Oh God, you know, long, I, I can't make that story short. I got an email one, my career started to go downhill. I got an email one Monday morning from a friend who said, just bought a dive school in Thailand. I said, whereabouts? He said, Kopanga, and I said, never heard of it. And, uh, and then I got a gig in Bangkok for a Saturday, gig in Pattaya the following Saturday, came here for the middle week in November. This is where it's changed. Yeah. In November, there was no November, one. November 2008. 2007. 2007. Yeah, okay. there was no one here. Yeah. And I thought, you know, I'm never going to get my career back. I'm getting a bit older. Um, yeah, I, I could do this life. But of course, music never leaves you, and you just obviously still want to carry on working. But I remember going, there was like no one. And that's one big change because there were also no Russians here 10 years ago. And now, November, it's not low season anymore because the Russians leave Moscow and Siberia, wherever. And, they, and because of the six month visa, they now come middle of October, beginning of November. And now November is really, really, really yeah, busy. Good, yeah. And of course, there's way more parties. We never had a, a, a Samsara, which was Merkabar before. We never had a Maya. We never had a Holly Stone. Um, we never had an Addict. Yeah, well, I mean, it, it's developed massively. And for the. Back then, we had only the full moon, half moon. Yeah, yeah, moon. yeah. Shiva moon. Yeah, and Bansa Bar and, and the little and, 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 yeah, yeah, and Pirates Bar was house. Pirates Bar was house. Was so more or more yeah. techno. Yeah. 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 I mean, and but the one thing where Copangam, because if, if you talked about the world music scene, you know, there's festivals all over the world every week now. Clubbing is on a general decline around the world because, you know, just the, the cost and people want to go to the festivals and see these huge names. But even if you look at things like Ultra in Miami, you know, which is the biggest, arguably one of the biggest festivals in the world. I played that in 97 and headlining was Carl Cox and Paul Van Dyke. But now it's all about EDM and it's been EDM for... EDM is the main Yeah, but it is for the kids, you know, electronic dance music. We call it electronic Disney music because it's Toy Town music. But that's never come here. Only at full moon, only at full moon. Um, and so for that, obviously, we're all really grateful. But that's because, you know, people like, you know, Chong and... You played at Tommy. Yeah, I played, yeah, I... What kind of music did you play? I, because I still, although I was moving away from trance, I still had this love of trance, and it is what made me my name, and it is what made, got me gigs in 50, 60 countries all over the world as a trance DJ, and I still had a passion for it. So when I started Tommy, Tommy was like number nine on, on the beach. At full. It was the least attended. And in six months, I took it to number one, and Jao from Half Moon acknowledges that. Chai from Jungle acknowledges that. Um, but then EDM came in, and, and you know what I've never done as a DJ? I, even whatever the scene was, even when I was playing Soul back in the late 70s and 80s, never played a tune because, oh, that'll work. It was because you had a passion for that tune and you couldn't wait to go and play it. But EDM was coming in and then I was finding that to supplement the trance, because I knew I couldn't play three hours of trance, I was just, oh yeah, that'll work, because it went, ah, clap your hands, clap your hands, raise the hand, right? And I couldn't do it and after, and it was getting worse. That's what I was doing, so I gave it up. Do you think the, the music on Copangan, music in Copangan reflects what's happening in the world? And no, the and that's what's great about it. That's what I'm saying. I mean, it depends what festival you go to yeah. anywhere else in the world, but predominantly, even, you know, even things, even the big, big festivals like Tomorrowland, they're EDM headliners. You wouldn't get an EDM headliner here in a million years, you know, and although we don't get the huge names like, you know, 
all right, you think Reiner's on the field or whatever, we don't get Carl Cox or Danny Rampling. We still get great DJs, but no, we've been untouched by EDM, yeah. so which, which is great. And so, and so the scene here is probably even better than Ibiza, nice. to be honest. You know, many people want to come to Copangan, many people want to live on Copangan, mm. and in today's world, they are, because of technology, it's much more easier now and accessible. Uh, there are many more DJs than used to be when... <laughs> there was, there, when were, there were 10 of us, there were 10 of us yeah. when I came, so I what, think. What is your advice for DJs who want to come and live and play music? Get a work permit. Get work permit. <laughs> I, 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 I do have a thing about this because it does cost money to be legal. Yeah. And, um, and, but you know. It, it costs money and there is some bureaucracy to do. Yeah. Yet, it's, I think it's much more easier to make it in Thailand compared to many other Western countries. Um, well, he, he, and, and more than that, if you come to Thailand, so respect the law. Yeah, don't come here to go around. Yeah, just come and do what you're well, doing. Yeah, see, that, well, see, that's what I was going to say. You know, like I've, you know, Miguel Matos, for example, is a good friend of mine. And I said to Miguel the other day, I don't get why you're here. Because if you come here, unless you... The only way to make it anywhere in the world as a DJ now is to produce. So yeah. all the all the music we play, all those DJs, whether it was whether it's Henry Zeiss, Rainer Zonnefeld, Jay Lumen, whoever, whoever, ever, they're only playing all over the world because they're producing music, and this is why they're getting booked. So don't come to Kopangan and think you're, you're going to become a world. DJ unless you produce but Miguel said I come because I want the lifestyle he said I've got as big as I'm gonna get and he's done really well he's played the best places in Ibiza and around the world but you come here a because you want to embrace Copangan and enjoy enjoy the island and enjoy the party scene and music you know, music is fundamental uh, here. So, yeah, don't come here and think like this is the, the gateway to the world. No, it's, a, it's exactly what you said. One of the best places to live in. And yeah. yeah. Come, thank you very much. My, my, pleasure to shalom, shalom. Toda, toda, thank you very much. <laughs>